Good morning, ladies. Um, I'm going to share with you my tags that I did for my May tag swaps. I participated in Arlene's at my Butterfly Kisses 12 and Carlene the Pink Scrapper 99. And um, for Arlene's um, tag swap is a beach theme. And this is what I did. Um, I got this wooden piece uh, palm tree. I painted it with acrylic paint. I used um, a Christmas green acrylic paint for the background of the palm tree. And then I used a brown. And then I just used some floss to cover it to make it a little more realistic. And then I used these brown beads. My daughter asked me, you know, where the coconuts were. And so I decided to use this one. And these are just flosses. And this spec here is a stamp swirl. And I turned it into a wave and just used some blue distress stickles. Um... Then down here, I had this paper that reminded me of sand, and um, and I bought some of that decorative sand and put some on top of it, and then I popped the, the palm tree and the sun with uh, mounting tape and distressed it, and then these shells down here, um, I got in the Philippines about 15 years ago. And um, and I've had them and I've kept them from all the moves that I did. And they're really special to me. It reminds me of my heritage um, and my family back in the Philippines who I really never get to see. Um, I've only been there twice, so it's kind of hard. Um, but we do keep in contact. We email, send pictures, mail, write letters and such, so... Um, but yeah, all the shells on the tags are from the Philippines off the beach when I was there. Um, and then I got this, um, I think it's a Tibetan palm tree that it was on Aloha and Mabuhai. Um, Marie's was selling these and I ended up buying them all. Um, so I can have them for, um, for this swap. And then I just, I bought this blue pretty blue ribbon it reminded me of the ocean because of the colors and then I just used some other blue and green and yellow fibers and I just glimmer mist it with my homemade glimmer mist in the background and then just dress the edges with the Studio G ink and that was my my swap for Arlene and then um then I had this one for Carlene swap and honey don't play with the guitar um, and I did this one it was flower theme and then I used these fabric flowers um, and I, I I played with it a lot um, I took several different pictures um, and different styles on how I want to do this and um, before I got to work but I got all my supplies and put them across my desk and I took several, several pictures of different, with different laces, different um, styles that I was going to put on this tag. So, and this is what I came up with. It's a 4x6 tag on recycled cereal boxes. It's pretty thick. Um, and then I edged the edges with my pink Studio G ink as well as a pearl metallic pearl rose and then um, I used my black card stock and I was making these flowers and it's the metallic recollections paper flower or paper and I turned it into a rose which is really pretty and then I, I made different color metallic ones I made a gold, a silver and a brown, but this one looked the best. Um, and then I used this old floral, it has flowers in the background, of course you can't see it because I blocked it, but it's um, really old lace. Um, it's from one of my hauls, my really big estate haul video, um, and I got a lot of laces from that, and I 
I wanted to do a red lace, but they it didn't look right in the end with all what I wanted. Um, then Kaylee, shh, Kaylee, stop. Sorry, she's playing with the guitar in the closet. But I cut these flowers, and this one here is made with my homemade glimmer mist. You can't really tell, but it's really shimmery, and it's my copper homemade glimmer mist. And then the I cut another piece, and then put the white behind it because it just looked too plain with just the copper. So I added the white. And then it still looked plain, so I printed out this beauty. And I distressed this and this with um, brushed corduroy. Um, and then I used stickles for her dress right here. It's really pretty. And then it still looked plain, so I got these flowers from the wedding section um, at at Michael's and it's two layers. There are two different flowers on each one. Then I used the Recollections Brad. And then I popped it up with, I popped these all up with um, mounting tape. And this one you can tell, the card, you can tell that I mounted it because it's really popped up. I popped that up more. And then it still looked plain so I decided to put this pretty peach row, ribbon rose right here. Um, and I adhered it with glossy accent so it would stay. And then um, on the back, I added um, a coin envelope and I just um, put, you know, black cardstock and edged it with the white Studio G. And then I added Treasure and Inspire. And then another flower back here. Um, and I just folded it, I cut it in half and then I folded that piece in half. And then I put Handmade by Stephanie Collins 2010. And then, then the inside is my little card. And I use bright yellow <laughs> cardstock. And it's got all my information on it. And then I added, um, the first, I got, okay, honey. I printed out my, or printed out, I got out my magnet strips that I had and my first time using it. Um, ever so I used it for my tag swap and then the fi I just used two different fibers and a ribbon sorry there's writing on my hand I had to take my son to school this morning because we woke up late um, but yep that's that's all I did if you have any questions uh, please leave me comments or questions and I'll try to answer them as best as I can and those are my two tags that I did for the swaps. And I hope you like it. It's something different. Um, but it it's me. Okay. So thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Say have a nice day. Have a nice day.